Oh shit. Oh hell no! What's up guys? So we have a new toy, the DJI RS3 Pro. And since I do prefer using dual grips, I went ahead and purchased the Tilta Advanced Grip for the gimbal. I also have here the previous generation RS2 to compare if you guys are curious if it was worth the upgrade. <laughs> So I've been using the DJI Ronin M for almost five years. I've shot some of my favorite videos with it and it really was a workhorse. I balanced my Canon 80D on it, my 1DX Mark II, and my R5 with zero issues. I also had a bit of time with the Ronin S, but sold it because I didn't really enjoy the form factor of a single grip gimbal. However, since getting my newest cinema camera, the Canon C70, I wasn't able to use it on the Ronin M. The Ronin M was my favorite gimbal to use, but the C70 was way too heavy to use with it. The motors just weren't rated for that amount of weight. The RS3 Pro released not too long ago and it's rated to hold some of the heavier camera setups out there, so I ordered one and I'm super excited to test it out. Okay, let's do a comparison between these two gimbals. On the right, we have the RS2. And then on the left, we have the RS3 Pro. In terms of build quality, they are both pretty much the same. Nothing much has changed. Not necessarily a bad thing. The RS2 was an amazingly well-built gimbal. Same goes for the RS3 Pro. We do, however, get a larger touchscreen, which is much appreciated, as well as an upgraded briefcase handle. Now on the RS3 Pro, this wider arm here is what's very important to me because this is what basically allows more legroom when balancing larger and wider cameras. Probably my most favorite new feature is the auto locking system. All arms can now be automatically locked in place when you power off. Before on the RS2, when powered off, everything would just dangle all over the place unless you lock each individual arm separately, which was a hassle. Battery life, um, you're getting the same 12 hour performance as before. All right, let's go ahead and assemble the Tilta Advanced Grip, starting off with the bottom half. What's really awesome about this, you have these buttons that you can press and it unlatches the feet stands. Super neat that it's built in. Now moving on, we have our grips. Thread it on. Go ahead and, oops. Okay, now we have the top half of the grip. Now what's really cool is you can use the existing battery grip on the RS3 Pro as the top handle for the advanced grip. Tighten it. It doubles both as the top handle and power source. We go ahead and take the gimbal itself, slot that in, lock that down. I'm gonna go ahead and balance my C70 now. It's balanced, let's turn it on. And that's pretty much it. Now another really, really convenient thing is on this top handle, we do have a cold shoe. So I'm gonna go ahead and slot in my Atomos Ninja 5 monitor. You don't really need to buy any other accessories. You're also getting the transmitter here and this basically communicates with both of the grips. But yeah, this is a, a really solid setup. Ergonomically, it feels perfect. You can grip it from any angle. It's not really that heavy. If it were to get too heavy, you obviously do have these feet stands that you can just place the gimbal down and relax. Okay, so final thoughts. 
In my opinion, here are the best features. The auto locking makes traveling in between takes much more convenient and can even double as a handheld rig once locked. The wider arms to accommodate my C70 is a big improvement as well. Is it worth upgrading? Honestly, only if you have a larger camera setup or if you really want the auto locking system, then I would suggest getting the RS3 Pro. It feels slightly smoother, but not by a lot. The RS2 was already near perfect. If you currently have and enjoy the RS2, I say just keep it or sell it for a good price before purchasing the RS3 Pro. However, if you are looking for an excellent gimbal for the first time, the RS3 Pro or even the smaller RS3 is a no-brainer. If you guys like the footage shown in this video, consider subscribing to my Patreon. Every month I upload new and awesome high quality car content shot on multiple cameras. I know some of you don't have the ability or gear to film cars as often as I do. So I'm offering all my footage on Patreon so you guys can play around with it. You can edit it yourself and even send me your work for some one-on-one -on -one critique. This month's footage is gonna feature the red WRX you just saw in this review. That's it for the video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.